When I was in Vietnam, I worked as, uh, I was sent out as the assistant motion picture officer, and I had a very nice boss. And he said, look, you can go out and direct films. You don't have to sit here in the office. So um, I would ha take a Vietnamese crew out, and we would do documentaries. And then he said, you know, you're pretty good. You can do, uh, you want to write a fiction film? And these were basically propaganda films. Um, so I wrote something and, and I, I started directing and that, that's how I got into film. So when I, when I left USA, I was doing two things, uh, writing and, and working in, in film. And I worked on some good films as a um, production assistant. I worked under Sidney Lumet on um, A Long Day's Journey Into Night. And then my stepfather and mother did a film called David and Lisa. Uh, very successful, early, uh, uh, it was one of the early independent films that actually uh, people watched. And they were both nominated for Oscars, actually. And so I worked on that. And um, then um, uh, I made a movie. Uh, I, I got a grant, and I raised some money, and I made an independent movie um, about the Civil Rights Movement, uh, a story about a troupe of actors traveling around Mississippi during the uh, uh, sort of the heroic days of the Civil Rights Movement. And the um, movie was, um, won a prize in Chicago Festival, it was shown in Lincoln Center in New York, but it never got a distribu distribu real distribution. So I was sort of, I realized that is a very hard game, um, being a, a filmmaker. But um, I wrote, the first book I wrote on cinema was about all the things, um, it was sort of a guidebook to um, young cineasts, how to do an independent film. And it's called Breaking Through, Selling Out, Dropping Dead, and Other Notes on Filmmaking, a very long title. <laughs> and it's set up like a dictionary. For example, A is agents, actors, um, and so on. B is, you know. Uh, S is sexism, and, and, and all, so it's set up like a dictionary. And it was a, a much, um, the film students loved it. And it's still in print. It's actually still in print, it's way outdated. And then the second was a commissioned book called The Great Movies. Um, after the, the uh, Breaking Through was published and was very well reviewed, a uh, publisher came to me and said, would you, would you write would you choose your 50 favorite movies or greatest movies that you think are the greatest and, and write about them and we will do beautiful um, color pictures and make a, a big expensive book out of it. So that was a little digression from fiction writing. It was shown uh, on German television and maybe in England but not in France. It, 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 was, I, it was too ambitious a project for me. At that time, I, it was very hard. It was a uh, biracial, uh, interracial cast, of course, because the uh, troupe of actors were blacks and whites, and and the story of the movie is that they they go around Mississippi and they perform in churches and they um, uh, try to get people to vote, and, and and they do little scenes to show you know you have to stand up for yourself and you have to go out and register to vote, and then. It, the, this is, they're threatened, they're put in jail at one point, they're beaten up, but in the end, the white actors and the black actors don't agree and they have a big split and the um, troop falls apart. And again, a very kind of schematic story, but it was very hard. The, the, the cast kind of were, were difficult about doing this as well. And I didn't have enough experience to really control that cast to control the set. And we were shooting on locations, mostly in New Jersey, some of it in the South. And uh, there was a lot of stress. And uh, <laughs> I should have done, I should have done a three character noir with a lot of shadows in New York. That's what I should have done. <laughs> but I didn't know any better.